an undersized, awkwardly slow, roly-poly. This is the visual that I would use to best describe middle school me. Which, <laughs> not very flattering. <laughs> no, it is not. And around this juncture in my life, I was getting into paintball. Me and my friend Wesley decided to hit up the paintball park. I always brought my semi-automatic piranha. It was a decent gun, you know, it was uh, It never shot straight. It couldn't shoot straight. Wesley brought his pump action titman, which it's almost too crappy to even mention, but I should mention that he had the agility of a hammock and he had a head shaped like a vertical watermelon. He was odd. We're about to hit up the courses with our teams when a group of five freaking professional paintball players come up to our ref and ask if they can play. Play? Freaking play? My group was compiled of a bunch of recreational individuals who have never played high velocity paint swapping before. And the ref had the brass to ask us. You guys want to, you guys want to switch up teams and just have all you guys against these five? I would rather pee lightning. But before I could even express my displeasure, this 10 year old birthday boy just shouts, oh, let's do it. First game. We hit up a course called Area 51. Before I even get off a shot, I get double tapped. <sighs> right in the freaking mask, all right? Which happens to shoot freaking delicate spray of paint into my mouth. I just wanted a fun-filled day of paintball. I didn't want to go against SEAL Team 6. Everyone was slaughtered. And then we went to go play the second game. We went to this place called The Jungle. Within five minutes of happy pain and anguish, <laughs> everyone just annihilated. Just gone. Oh, everyone but me and Wesley. We were getting ready to cross the stream that separates us from their base when something just blasts out of the water. It's shooting! It's a freaking six foot two professional paintball player. Guy has a snorkel in his mouth. A freaking snorkel? A snorkel! The guy was waiting in a body of water for who knows how long. And he lights me and Wesley up. We freaking hit the ground. And he's still shooting us. He's still shooting because he freaking has an automatic gun. So he's just holding it down. <laughs> I stand up. Now I'm, I'm heated. Okay, because you're only supposed to shoot somebody once. One freaking time. What a tool. Belt. What a tool belt. What a tool bench. And my dude, you're not supposed to keep shooting. And he replies back with, it's part of the game. If you can't handle the pain, don't play. 14 year old me had no comebacks. I had nothing. So I used one of my mothers. I'd shout, well it's not. And it's gonna come back and it's gonna bite you in the butt, mister. That was my mom's thing. I, you just had to say, you had to put mister at the end of it. M mister. Mister. So the last game goes down and we go to a course called Hamburger Hill. I didn't care about anyone else but that guy. I knew he was at the top of the hill. And I start military crawling up this hill with Wesley in tow. When I arrive at the peak, I roll up against this dirt wall. I turn back to Wesley and I say, Guy is on the opposite side of us. On a three count, we're gonna take him down. One, two, three! I tear from the wall and I slide down on one knee. I start slamming the trigger as fast as humanly possible. I couldn't even see because my mask was fogging up because of the intense plume of CO2. I was so freaking worried that I was not even hitting him because my gun did not shoot straight. And I knew if I couldn't hit him, Wesley could. He was my backup plan. So I looked to my right expecting to see Wesley, he was still hiding. I could, I could see his stupid little melon head poking out of the wall looking at me. I start screeching, Wesley, shoot him! Freaking Wesley gets up. I'm like cheering, I'm like, yes, Wesley! And he shoots me in the thigh. We didn't even break, which hurts like 10 times worse when they don't break. I just scream, son of a Wesley! I turn back to Tobinch. And it took me a second to realize that something, something celestial had happened. Every single shot was an unequivocal direct hit. Now because I fell to my knee in proper Rambo stance and because he was facing the opposite direction in a crouching position like so, <laughs> I probably shot his butthole like 30 to 35 times. I don't even know to be exact. <laughs> that head is so freaking, that head hurt so bad. I knew 
I was a dead man as soon as I saw this. I freaking barrel roll out of this back to Wesley. And I go up and I grab Wesley by the turtle neck. And I'm like, we gotta go! We gotta go, Wesley! So we start tearing cheek back to the holding pin where all the players are. About this time, Tool Bench freaking comes walking up, grabbing his cheek. He started shouting, Watch it! Oh! Someone should be 30 times! I wanna know who did this! He walks up to every single player and he just, I just he eyes him down. He's out for blood! And he gets to me, and he's just staring me down. He couldn't see my face, because it was concealed by the tint of a paintball mask. But if he could see it, he would have seen a smile that can only be created by a moment that comes full freaking circle. Everybody's had one of those moments where something happens, and you think back on it, and you're like, ah, oh, why didn't I say that? That would have been the best! And you would have been that freaking verbal hero that you were always meant to be. A shimmering knight of the comeback sentence. This was that moment. Except I said it. 14 year old me did it. And I say, well, it looks like crap came back and bit you in the butt. Mister, it was perfect. It was perfection. So I just thought, oh, that <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs>